All right, what's up, everybody? This is Alex from WMD back at you again. This time, we are going to be talking more Metron tricks and tips. <clears throat> so if you've watched my videos before, you know I really like to do things in the tempo range of like 122 to 126, like that four on the floor driving um, kick drum and dance music kind of thing. And... Um, you know, that's not all that Met Metron can do. Obviously, that's what I really like to do. That's something that, um, that's just the kind of music that I gravitate towards. It's also the kind of stuff I listen to. But we can do so much more with it, right? So what I wanted to do is kind of talk about how to play in slower tempos, right? So one thing on the forum, we had a conversation about um, the micro timing resolution, right? And so with micro timing, you can get up to six triggers per step. And um, with the bursts, we go up to four. So just automatically you get two, three, or four triggers per step on the bursts. And so some people are asking for more um, resolution in that. And I can only think that the reason that you'd want that is because you want to be able to play at slower tempos than what we wanted to. What we kind of figured out was that anything higher than six literally was like not hearable. Um, when you're playing at like 120. So it gets to a point where it just, I mean, it's running like at audio rate, which is cool, but um, it gets to that point where it actually doesn't really change anything. So, um, but it got me thinking and um, it got me just like wondering, okay, so what can we do to kind of help that out and increase the resolution within Metron? And one thing that I just wanted to show really quick, and this video should be relatively quick, we'll see, you guys know me, um, is <clears throat> showing how to use the sequencer in halftime in order to achieve a slower tempo and more with more resolution. So what do I mean by halftime? So what I mean is that we are going to be thinking about the tempo that is our target, right? So let's say 90 BPM is our target tempo. That's what we want to be playing at. Well, what we can do is we'll play at 180 instead of 90. And then we can use the sequencer. And instead of looking at each division as a quarter note, we can think of those as eighth notes, right? And um, then we can even bust that out a little bit further. So we could go 180 times two and do even half or even more half time, right? We can go even halfer. That's literally what I was about to say. Um, so yeah, what I've got here is I've literally, I'm at 290 BPM. And we're just like, we've got this really nice slow sequence here. So if I go on to look in my pages, we'll look at the kick drum. I've got some crazy stuff here. So this is all gate lengths and I'm gonna show you why I did that. But let's find like, um, so our clap, right? That's actually on the second bar. So we're going one, two, three, four. So in this, in this uh, orientation, we're actually using every bar as a beat. So now we've got tons of rev resolution on uh, just on the grid. And then when we add bursts in there, we're getting some pretty fast bursts. So we can hear like my, uh, yeah, my Camara sound. We're getting pretty glitchy up there, right? So, so what I did to do this is I actually halved twice, right? So I went to, um, we started out like, let's, let's figure this out actually real quick. So we're at 293, I'm not really good at math. So 293 divided by 293 divided by 2, 146, and then divided by 2 again. So divided by 2. 73. So our Mac, our actual tempo that we're playing at is 73 BPM. So 73 BPM. 0.25 to be exact if we're looking at the computer I'm not really sure you know but anyways that's how slower 
that's how slow our feel is, but we've actually doubled that twice so we can get way more resolution. So I'm going to go through how we did that or how I did that and um, hopefully give you some ideas of your own. So first things, like always, we're just going to clear everything and we're going to start, let's start at 90 BPM. So I'm going to roll my tempo back. And we're going to make a beat at 90. So you can see here, see here my cursor. And uh, we'll just do normal time here, right? So one, two, three, four. And I'm not on the variation I want to be on. So there we go. All right, so that's pretty cool, right? So let's put in our uh, tambourine here. So the way that we're hearing this right now, we're going one, two, three, four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, right? So that's our tempo. That's our tempo at 90. So what I want to do is I'm going to add some bursts, right? So we'll do some like, here we go. And actually let's make this longer. So we're going to go two bar pattern. So that way we can change it up a little bit. So some, well, the first bar will have no gates or no bursts. It'll just be just triggers all the way through. And I guess I got one burst in there, but I like that. That sounds cool. So then my second bar, I've got bursts at the end here. Right? Okay. So let's do a four burst and see what that sounds like. So I'm going to go out to four bars now. Duplicate pattern length. That trick again. Going to go to bursts. Go to four. And then let's put those at the end. All right, so that's pretty good. That's pretty fast. And um, that's a pretty cool sound, right? But that's as uh, deep as we can get into the bursts as far as using um, just the burst function. So let's go into micro timing. So I'm going to go into this step and I'm going to hit burst, and that's going to take us to micro timing. Like that didn't hold it long enough. So there we go. You can see my trigger right here. So I'm just going to do every other one. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six, right? And this is on page four. So let's go look at it again. So you heard it happen really quick. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this step and paste it onto these other steps. Let's listen to a four bar pattern again. Here it comes. So that's six, it's a little bit faster than our four, but that is as fast as I can go as far as burst functions go and micro timing go when I'm using the 90 BPM. So what we can do is we can double the BPM and then play this at half speed. So how are we gonna do that the easiest way? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna double the BPM. So I'm gonna go from 90 to 180. There we are. And that sounds pretty wild, right? But now with my expand function, I'm just going to go into halftime. So I'm going to hold duplicate and hit nudge, which has expand on the top. And now I've got that same beat. It just took what we were playing, dropped it into halftime. So that's a really quick way to like make the beat you want and think about it in quarter notes and then split it into halftime. So now we're working where instead of one, two, three, four, where our sequencer is thinking one, sorry, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and blah, 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 right? We can get mumble rap just counting. So now we're gonna go out. This made our pattern eight bars long instead of just four. So now I'm going to go to this eighth page here and I'm going to put some two bursts on that, that last page and we'll do some on the four here as well. Let's go back to the eight. Now you're going to see it come by, right? So those are my two bursts. Let's put some four bursts on there. See what that sounds like. Here it comes, right? So that's a lot faster than we were getting just with the four bursts. So like, let's put some more, or the two bursts, let's put some of those in other places. Put 
put some twos there. And then here I'm gonna put, I'm gonna build this up so I'm gonna do two bursts here and then that'll go to four bursts there. Right? So now we've got this real fast ratchet kind of thing happening. So again, we are going as fast as we can. On these last four, I'm gonna make these six with the micro timing. So just gonna hold the step, hit burst again. That brings us in and go every other one. This gives us a resolution of six. And then I'm gonna copy and paste this to each one of my steps here. So now you hear that going even faster at the end. Okay, so, so now we're gonna double it again. We're gonna go from 180 to 360. The Metron does go up to 500 BPM, which is pretty dope. We're getting the same kinds of sounds here. And now we're just gonna expand again. All right, there we go. So we're back. And now we have a 16 bar pattern. And so now we're literally thinking about this thing instead of like one, two, three, four, we're thinking about it like one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So we're thinking about the beat way faster. We're gonna go to this last page here and we'll put in some bursts. Go to this guy, put some four bursts in there. Now let's just throw some two bursts around. Boom. So now we're getting super resolute, like a ton of resolution, right? Go back out to that eight one. Let's put some four bursts back in here. So I'm gonna go four here and we'll do two here. So now we've got tons of resolution and we didn't really have to work that hard to think about our beat in the um, in this grid, right? So one of the things about doing this that's kind of difficult is like if we wanted to do this from scratch, right? We'd have to think about, let's think of our kick drum. So our kick drum is boom, boom. And then we've got our snare drum is here. So our snare drum again is on every bar. And, um, or every other bar, excuse me. Boom, boom. So yeah. That does get kind of confusing, but with the contract and uh, expand features, it makes it super, super easy to do. All right, so my GoPro died, but we're just gonna keep on rolling. So now we've got this guy. Let's add in, see what our symbol sounds like, right? So I just want a symbol on every quarter note. So right now we're thinking one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, da, da, da. That's when I want my quarter notes. So I'm just literally gonna put a symbol here, which is number eight. So we're just gonna put it like this and make it a one bar pattern, right? I wanna do eight, 16th notes, 30 seconds, faster than that, right? Back to quarter notes. All right, so I had a bass line playing in the last one. Let's figure out how we can do that again. So what I'm gonna do is so I'm going to run back down and let's say I actually want to do this just to make this a little bit easier on me. I'm going to go back to 180. Right? Now we're going to go find the bass, which is number 13. And let's just do a one bar pattern because that just makes it easy for us. We'll throw on some triggers and hear this thing really fast. Just get some sound. So this is just going into the architect, stepping up and down. So we can do eighth notes this way. Right? So now I'm gonna extend these patterns out. One of the cool things about um, Metro on a cool little shortcut is you can just say duplicate pattern length for a track. So we're gonna duplicate track. Now we'll hit pattern length, we're on two. Duplicate the track, hit pattern length. That just made these two tracks two pages long while the rest is still going that whole 16 bar pattern. 
So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take off the reset up here. So there we go. And then let's add some gate lengths. some gate lengths over here. Now we can slow down the uh, envelope here. We're getting more of like that wobble kind of thing. It's not full wobble, we're not full double dubstep, not full double time, not full double step, not full triple step, rock step. Any clocking fans out there? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just going to go back and get that resolution back, right? So we're gonna go back up to 360. It's funny, I had to look up 180 to 360. I'm a fucking skateboarder and I don't even know that. All right, so anyways, we're gonna go uh, tempo up to 360, double this shit. Sounds pretty dope. We could just get drum and bass on it like this, right? Change up our fracture. Let's go find our symbol again. So actually I kind of like this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this over to B and then we're just going to perform the expand function on B Then we're going to say go and then at the end of the variation when we get to 8-2 here, boom, we're back to our original. And I'm going to duplicate that out to 8 bars, so just that symbol I mean. So boom, boom, pattern length. And now we'll throw on some faster triggers at the end here. Let's reset. Cool. Add uh, some bursts in there. All right, so that is it. Some easy ways to take a pattern and get increased micro timing resolution by running in halftime. You know, a lot of times you'll look, like if you look inside a DJ software and you want to play one of your favorite hip hop songs and you know that thing's slow, you'll go into the software and you'll look around like 70 or 90 and you'll not be able to find it. When you do the search for it, you'll realize that it was actually like um, analyzed at 180 or 190 or 140 or whatever because it was analyzed at double time. And so that happens all the time. And I know that producers do use this technique a lot. And with Metron, it's super easy to get there, especially by using the expand function and just doubling the tempo. So starting out um, by using, when you're creating your patterns, starting out with um, the regular resolution and then doubling your tempo and hitting that expand button is a super awesome way to uh, achieve that. So thank you as always for watching. And um, we'll be back very soon with more drops and stuff and uh, some new demo vids of some new products. So stay tuned and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace.